Hey, I'm Destiny. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because my channel is about building our businesses, having multiple side hustles, and also self-care. So if those topics interest you, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And in today's video, of course, it's another step-by-step -step tutorial because as you know, with the business one-on-one -on -one series, I'm going to be showing you the beginning blocks of building your businesses. So we're going to be hitting at each item step-by-step -step so we can get you set up with the proper foundation. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a free business phone number. So go ahead and stay tuned. So just like how I start off all my videos, of course, I got to tell you why it's important. This video is going to be set up with a Google voice number. So a lot of you probably already are familiar with the Google products, but I'm going to tell you about the Google voice service. And with the Google voice service, it gives you a free business phone number that rings on the app on your phone. So you don't have to go out and get a separate phone. You don't have to pay a separate bill. So I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step tutorial, how to get it all set up, how to get an area code in your area. But first, why do you need a separate business phone for your business? The number one reason is because you want to separate your personal from your business when your phone rings on this app you know like a lot of people do they cold switch for their business they put on a business slash professional voice which is perfectly fine with me so when it rings to the app you, that automatically lets you know this is a professional call when your customers either somebody who wants to sponsor you who knows you automatically know it's something for your business so you want to be as professional as possible you want to clean out that background noise before you even answer the call and then also setting up a professional voicemail service for your business so people automatically know they're reaching the right place they know when they leave a message it's getting to the right person so that's the number one reason the number two reason is because you want to have a phone number to list on your public listings. So your public listings could be, let's say for your Google My Business listings, your Apple listings. You want to have a customer service number on your website. You also want to list it for your LLC. You want to list it for your Dunn's number. Because as you know, like what's your Dunn's number? If you don't know your Dunn's is your business credit number. But with your Dunn's number, once you put that phone number in, they send that number out unless you pay for the upgraded service they send that number out to different agencies where they'll be calling you offering you business credit or any type of business service they're going to be calling and offering you all types of things so that's why you want to have a separate number and then it lets you know like sometimes you can if you want to turn off that app for a little bit go ahead turn it off turn off those notifications so when let's say if your business hours are nine to five you go ahead turn off them app notifications so you don't even have to worry about it everything goes straight to voicemail after that so that way it'll keep your work-life balance up to par and then the last reason you want to have a business phone number is for professional reasons you just want to have it and then when people ask you you always want to have one so yeah just to look a little bit more professional and legit. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and pull up the Google website and I'm going to walk you through step by step of how to set it up. We're going to go ahead and get Google pulled up and we're going to type in Google Voice. And we're going to select the first option. And from here, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the page. So a voice number works on smartphones and the web so you can place and receive phone calls from anywhere, save any time, stay connected. So one thing I do like about the Google Voice service is that it'll transcribe your voicemails and it says take control of your calls. You can forward calls to any device and have spam calls silently blocked. With voice, you decide who can reach you and when. So that is one of the features that I do like because when your business hours are over, let's say if you're 9 to 5, you can go ahead and turn that app off. Let's take a look at some other features that they have. Oh, and then they give you the option for personal or business use. We're going to go ahead and click the business use. Now, the business was does have a $10, 20 to $30 charge. To avoid those charges, we're going to go ahead and select the personal version. And which for most of us, we only need the personal version. We don't need all the business services. But if you do want to take advantage of some of those business services, go ahead and take a look into that portion of it. On this screen, we're going to go ahead and go back to the personal use. And from then, it's going to ask you to sign in. I end up signing in offline. Once you get to the welcome to the Google Voice screen, you'll just press continue. And on this page, you are signed in. So we're going to go ahead and type in our city. 
So this way it'll give you an area code. So for me, it's 616. So I'm going to look for a 616 number. And when I look at the numbers, I try and look for a number that'll be easy for my customers to remember. And once we select our number, we're going to go ahead and they're going to ask you for your personal phone number. So you're going to type in your phone number. They're going to send you a verification code. And once you send in that verification code, then they're going to approve you. And for that verification code, you, you do want to have the Google app downloaded on your phone already. And once it's verified, it's going to send your number and say it's all yours. So that was simple enough. And that's how you set it up. So thank you so much for making it this far in my video. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or you got confused on any sections, drop that in the comment section below. As I said in my last video, I'm going to try and get a lot better at monitoring my comments so I can respond, make sure I'm being as helpful as possible. And also we have one-on-one -on -one sessions back on the website. So if you do want to talk about your business one-on-one, -on -one, head over to IamDestinyAdams.com. If you have any video requests you can drop those in the comment section below and i'm also going to be adding that to the website but yeah so go ahead like comment subscribe and stay tuned for the next video <laughs>